Yo people, guess where we are? Landed in Bangladesh, in Silet, Bangladesh. We've just been meet, uh, greeted by Shah. He's just seeing off his family because his sister and some of the family was in the car as well. We're in Bangladesh, it's hot. I'm telling you, it's hot. It's probably, how many degrees would you say is now? 25, 26. 25, 26 degrees, yeah. Feels beautiful, especially coming from UK, which is what, four or five degrees. But yeah, we're in Bangladesh. Yo people, what's going on? It's a bit mad right now. I am just in an Uber. We've had a crazy start to the journey. I was trying to book parking at Manchester Airport. No space is available. I parked up on a random street in Manchester. And now we jumped in an Uber, fantastic driver. We're driving to Uber. In mid conversation, we talked about a suitcase and I realized, oh crap, I left my suitcase in my car, which I parked up. So we've had to do a U-turn to go back. The flight is in two hours time or maybe less than two hours time one hour 40 minutes time we've gone back to the car picked up the suitcase and now we're heading back to the airport now there's a bit of traffic but hopefully let's make it hopefully fingers crossed let's go bro look who i've just bumped into rohan what's going on man i'm all right bro, bro where are you going I'm going to taka i'm going to bangladesh you're going to taka i'm going to select all right yeah, yeah are you on the same flight yeah i'm on the same at eight, eight, eight o'clock yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so you go to select first then go to Dhaka, don't it? Exactly, yeah. wow man what a surprise Rohan used to work at munchie still does right i still do yeah. still do uh, yeah oh, what a surprise bro, i didn't expect it man how long are you going for a couple weeks so my bro man is it what gate is it i'm gonna check my pass now i'll catch you in a bit though yeah i'll see you on the plane see. I got given flowers for the first time in my life. <laughs> Just a symbol of our bromance. <laughs> Shaw, sure, what the hell have you been, bro? You know, people ask about you. Really? Yeah, and now there's, a, there's an image of a traitor. I'm honoured. I'm honoured. There's an image of a traitor in Sheffield of you Why? now. Why? Why? Because where's Shaw? so good and I, 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 I gave a proper, proper long six months <laughs> goodbye as well. Shaw, what are we doing in Bangladesh? A lot of things. Man. Rest. Okay. You, you should get rest, some rest and everything and then we will plan for everything. So, you know tea, is it like a big thing in Bangladesh? Yeah, of course. It's, okay. it's embedded in our culture as well. It is one of the highest exporting goods for Bangladesh as well. Is it? All of them are tea leaves? Yeah. What, like all of this? Yeah. Is no, this, is no, this private land? Ones, these ones, yeah. Okay. Because I think what's important to know is, um, Shah, Shah, your father started Bonani tea, isn't it? Yeah. Charles' father started Bonani Tea, the number one tea company in Bangladesh. So we're gonna do some taste tests whilst we're here. And it's very high in demand because when I was in the UK, I asked for the tea <laughs> and it took Shah around 16 okay. months to give me a little package. <laughs> so we're gonna chill out, we're gonna go to other cities, we're gonna roam Bangladesh, yep. and then at the end of it, we're gonna have a climax. It'll be Shah's <laughs> wedding. So are you ready yeah. for your wedding? Almost, almost. Good, you will man. never be 100% ready for your, <laughs> you know, such a big event. It can never be. Exciting, man. Exciting. <laughs> So, Charles has gone to Dhaka to pick up some of his family members. We are just on the way to see Anna, because she's in the country as well. Charles' brother, Jamil boy, say hello, man. Hello. And this is uh, the driver. <laughs> We're just stuck in this amazing traffic that's not moving anywhere. 
been a good long, long time. Now it's moving. Oh, I think that van's just hit into that bike. Getting interesting. But you know what? Today I can say I finally understand the real good reason why traffic lights exist. Because if there were traffic lights here, mate, none of this would happen. We've all been stuck here now. Everyone's getting pissed off. He's swearing at his mum. He's swearing at his dad. That guy's pissed off at him. Everyone's trying to squeeze through and there's no winners. Well, especially if you're in a car or a van like, like a van like us, you're losing. Anna! So we're with Anna, we're with Shah's brother, Jamil Bai. I got some more flowers. Oh, Samaikun, how are you? Are you alright? Yeah. You're Anamika's brother? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. We've got Anamika's brother as well. Amazing, exciting. And look at the traffic. Look at the traffic. Next morning in Silet, Bangladesh, I had such an amazing sleep. I was feeling a bit jet lagged, but that's all gone now. Thanks to Shah and uh, Shah's family's amazing hospitality. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you a little tour of Shah's place and where he lives, his house. Uh, the weather here is around 24, 25 degrees during the day. In the evening, it drops off a little, but it's perfect, especially considering we've just moved away from the UK, which was like zero degrees. That's the main road and you come in into Shah residences. So these are the gates. Now, once you enter here, this is where Shah lives, right? There's a building here and uh, these buildings are apartments that have been rented out and bringing in some rental. Another building block here as well. And you've got all this as well. Balasone, Salam alaikum. Alhamdulillah. How are you? You all right? At some point, Shah's gonna show us his tea factory and the office is inside there. And this is a new building that's being constructed. And this, I've been told, is gonna go up to 10 stories. And this is where the cars are parked. So yeah, Shah and his family live like in this building, this uh, blue one here. And it's, I, I found it really amazing and I was really, really happy for him as well because what they've done is they live in there, but they've got all this other property around them. Now they could have had like one massive mansion just here, but instead they're bringing in rental income from all these flats and apartments that they've rented out within their own yard, which is fantastic really. And it's smart, it's very, very smart. Now we're gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna show you where I've been staying. So remember this is, we're in the garden of, of his house, right? That's where we've just come from. And now we're gonna enter this part. They have a massive pond here. I, I think they do absolutely nothing with this to be honest. Hello auntie, how are you? This is Shah's mother. Auntie, how are you? You okay? okay. <laughs> And then uh, look at that house in the background. That's where I've been staying. Look how beautiful it is. It's relatively new. So this is where Charles' wedding is going to be. And we can obviously vlog that as well and show you. I think he's going to put a big marquee here. This is going to be like an outhouse. There's going to be some toilets in there for the guests and things like that. But this is essentially his, his, um, within, within his garden complex. So that's where the buildings are. This is here. There's going to be a massive marquee here and some big space. And then Bala Sonne. And then you've got, this is the, um, the outhouse. Let me take you inside. So. So this place is gonna be rented out to, after the wedding's done, cause there's gonna be a lot of guests that'll be coming through. Once the wedding's over, it'll be rented out and bringing in some more rental, which is fantastic. Now this is the room I've been staying in. Beautiful, not done my bed this morning, but uh, It'll be all right. Opens up to this side and you can open up your windows as well. And then let me show you the other side. Bangladesh. Beautiful. Good weather. What can I say? Fantastic. Let me show you the view. So yeah, Shah's expecting 2,000 plus guests. So yeah, guys, listen, thanks for watching. We're going to head out now. We'll be vlogging for the next episode. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and a lot more of Bangladesh is coming through. So catch you on the next one. Bye bye.